G'day, this is Jim with Urban Self Sufficiency. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a very simple first flush into your rainwater system. Taking a quick look at my existing setup, I have two main inlets into my tank. These do not have a first flush, so a lot of particulate matter can make its way into my tank. To explain a first flush, let's take a quick look at a simple diagram. Here is a tank and the inlet is covered with a fine mesh filter. Whilst this protects the tank from a lot of larger materials, it doesn't protect it from a lot of the finer particulate matter that can make its way into the tank without a first flush or some other filtration method. So here is a standard setup. When it rains, a lot of the dirt and other fine materials that build up on the roof can be collected when it rains. This then flows down into the tank and with it, the rainwater can take the fine particulate matter down straight into the tank. What doesn't collect on the fine filter can then start to build up in the bottom of your tank. And this is what we're trying to avoid. So the idea with the first flush is that we take our inlet and rather than going straight into the tank, we build a well or a chamber underneath the main inlet. The main inlet still carries across to direct the water into the tank. You can see here that chamber sits below. So what happens is when it rains, before water is allowed to enter into the tank, it first must fill the chamber or well underneath the inlet. Once it's full, then allows fresh water to flow into the tank. The idea is that the fine particulate matter flows down into that well and collects at the bottom of the well and sits there rather than being allowed to flow straight into the tank. Then with this system, after the rain, you can go out and empty the first flush to allow that fine particulate matter to be flushed from the system completely and allowing it clean and ready for the next rain. First, you're gonna need some downpipe in the same thickness as your existing setup. A 90 degree elbow to go on the end of the inlet to direct the water into the tank. A plain T intersection. This is to create the junction of the well in the first flush and also the inlet towards the tank. You're also going to need a threaded access coupling. This is to go on the bottom of the first flush well and then of course onto that thread a threaded access cap. One with an O-ring is preferred. So for the layout, you're going to take the plain T. This is going to create the junction between the downpipe, the inlet to the water tank and the well. PVC pipe is going to be attached as the inlet and then on the end of that you're going to attach a 90 degree elbow to direct the flow into the tank. Below this we're going to attach the well, PVC pipe in this case, and then on the end of that the threaded access coupling and then of course the threaded cap to go on the end there to allow the first flush to be cleaned out after the rains. As you can see it's a very simple and easy to put together system. The first thing to do is remove the old inlet. I used the existing inlet as a guide so I could cut my new pipe to length. Once it was cut to length, I then attached it to the plain T using standard PVC cement. I then attached it to the downpipe using the same PVC cement, but being careful to make sure that the end was over the inlet into the tank. I then just dry fit the 90 degree elbow to the end of the inlet. The reason for this I will reveal in the next video in this series. The next step was to cut the chamber for the first flush to size. I cut mine to about a meter in length or three to three and a half feet. And then I attached the threaded access coupling to the bottom of that cut PVC pipe using again that same PVC cement. Then of course the final step is to attach that to the bottom of the plain T to complete the system. 
And here it is all completed. Again, it's very simple and easy. And you can see the two access couplings at the bottom of those inlets. And after a big rain, I just simply go out and empty these by unscrewing the cap and allowing that particulate matter and the excess water to flow out. I'll also point out that this is a DIY version of a first flush system and whilst there's many commercially available options, you can see in these clean outs that this system works quite well and is perfectly suitable for my needs. That's it for this video, I hope it was enjoyable and informative, and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I will be doing a few videos on this system so look out for those in future. Thank you very much for watching and if you liked the videos thumbs up, if you didn't a thumbs down, and until next time, take it easy.